My name is Barbara Modi. I work in the Department of Communications and I have prepared and taught six distance courses. With the exception of one, they are all courses that I've also taught in the classroom, so I can really compare what it was like as a teacher to do both. And I must say that I've got to a point where I feel my distance courses are different, uh, but I feel that the learning is as good and in some courses better than it was in the classroom. You have as a teacher to operate differently. It's a bit like a stove in a microwave. You can't just take your notes and your lectures and put them online and think it's it's going to engage students or you're really using the opportunity as well. So what I have had to do is design, try to design experiences that uh, for my online students that will, I think they have to teach themselves more. So it's not passive learning, it's, a, it's far more active. I know in uh, one of my gender and PR courses, on the Monday I give them an experience, something that they have to go and do and then report on and then I give them a position paper they have to write at the end of the week. So I have to open their minds and then in the middle of the week they do the reading and then they apply it. So in some ways you're called on to be far more dynamic when you teach this way, to warm up the medium. Well, it's uh, English 2205. It's literature for children and young adults. So we go all the way from the Puritan times and children's literature right up to Harry Potter is actually where I start stop the course. The English department has a lot of great distance courses now. People have been really responsive to this particular format. So this was just one more step toward the goal. Developing it, it was so relatively easy because uh, Tanya Crawford is, was just the best person to work with and everybody else in the distance ed was really great as well. Uh, a lot of work. I don't think I ever realized quite how much work there was in designing it. And so um, it, it gave me a real respect for putting a distance course together. I'm Mackenzie Bartlett and I uh, am a contract faculty member in the English department. Uh, the distance course that I put together was a um, it was English 3366, the 19th century British novel. I was always very biased against distance courses, especially for uh, English classes because my experience has always been teaching on-campus English courses and uh, I like that that face-to-face -face engagement with the students and I worried that you wouldn't be able to get that same type of interactive quality in a distance class um, but that was what was surprising about it that it was there's actually more opportunities in some ways for that interaction with the students, for different types of interaction with the students um, than I expected. The feedback I got from my students was that that was really helpful to them to be able to just listen to <laughs> my voice, I guess, uh, through the podcast um, before the class so that they didn't have to sit there for, you know, whatever it was, 10 or 15 minutes listening to me, you know, talk about it. They'd already listen to that before we got together in, in the Collaborate sessions. I'm uh, Michelle Lesker. I'm in the Department of Psychology and I developed two courses for the department. Uh, the first one was uh, Cognitive Development. Um, it's a third year course that typically taught predominantly to uh, child and youth students. Um, and then the other course I developed later was the first half of Introductory Psychology, so first year course. Uh, well, actually, I did not want to do the distance courses at first. <laughs> I didn't think that the students could be in a, as engaged in the course as they could with a traditional, in the traditional classroom. Um, so what I did when I agreed to do it is I made sure that the students um, could be engaged in the course. And one of the big things that helped with that was to collaborate, to be able to use a virtual classroom. Um, I also use Moodle a lot, doing things like the discussion forum. I actually really enjoyed developing the distance course. And, uh, and I did find that you can have the students get engaged in the course. It is possible to do that. Well, it's not material-centered. I mean, you have the material, you have the knowledge, you know what you want to teach. I think it is to try to think of, an ex of teaching as an experience. I think you grow far more as a teacher when you teach distance in than perhaps once you're in the routine of going into the classroom and doing your PowerPoints and are there any questions and having a discussion. You've got to work really hard to, um, to pull them in and uh, I use a lot of uh, probably more links. I show them videos, I have them respond that way and I just think I'm grow I think I'm twice the teacher that I was since I've taught distance. 
I would say to not be as nervous about it as I was when I started because I was I was pretty terrified by the whole process and I couldn't really visualize in my mind how you would how you would transform an on-campus course to to a distance course um, so I would say to you know dive into it and to trust that the people in the distance education department will be you know will help you to understand what things like modules are teaching distance is it's just wonderful it's it's um, something that's exciting uh, you can keep uh, working on your course if you're not satisfied with it the first time there are people who will help you to uh, revamp it and uh, I, I love teaching distance I have from the time I first started so you don't have to have a lot of computer knowledge just enough to get by because I'm certainly not a computer guru but uh, again the help is there and uh, the course is just so much fun because you can put so much variety into it.